What's up? This is Mav Hoffa. It's my man Carl Payne. I need y'all to click the link below yeah. and go vote for my guy. He's up for the Best out Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Television Movie, Limited Series, or Dramatic Special. Ah! Go vote! Yes! Click the link! Click go the vote, link! Motherfucker. Ooh, let's get it! <laughs> when you up and you win and shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gonna cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit a boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run and see yourself. Staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. Try to cut the streets off and turn it to extortion. Everybody snitching, niggas bidding like an auction. Life is short till you hear it sentence when the court done. He was moving faster than a bullet, then he caught one. Right? And that's what happened. I was, <clears throat> I had, I had did a party. <laughs> I did a party. Uh, it was right before uh, either winter break or whatever. And my manager I have now, right? My manager at the time was like putting together a little role. Uh, um, she wanted everybody to come to California. She had four clients. She wanted us all to come to California for, um, to see what it's going to be like in Cali. Like, this is the next evolution of your career, mm. right? Right. And these are the agents you want to have. You want to have one agent over there and one over here. And so she took us out there to show us what that was like and to try to find this representation. So I drove cross country. Oh. They came to scoop me at like 5.30 in the morning from the club, got in the car, Griswold machine, station wagon, big school station wagon with the wood on the side. Oof. With four of the people I had never met drove cross country to California. First day and a half, I ain't speaking to nobody. I don't know these people. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know none of these people. By the time we got to the West Coast, we was best friends. Right? There was two other dudes. One, two, two. Yep, two other dudes and a, and a, and a chick. And then we, I made her stop, and she was from Texas. White girl. Talk like this, say stuff like that all the time. Right. <laughs> I went to SMU. <laughs> <laughs> and she said one of her, there was supposed to be a party. So we was like, yo, let's stop at SMU. We partied all the way across country. That's a movie in itself. Mm. That's when we stopped to go to the bathroom one spot in like the deep south. I went in there, it was like the record star. I was like, oh shit, no, let's get out of here. I'll hold it. <laughs> so I get to California. We get there late. We were supposed to have been there, but I got motherfuckers making stops on the road, right? right. Now we all best friends. We all staying in this one apartment called the Oakwood Apartments in, in Burbank. Um, it's like a lot, a lot of people come, come yeah. out there, that's where they first stay. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. like corporate housing, right? right. Mm -hmm. So we all in the same apartment. Guys on one side, girls on the other side, right? And now she gonna have us going auditions and things like that and trying to get representation. Back then we didn't have cell phones. Everything was a landline. They kept calling. Yo, chicks would call and be like, hi, can I speak to, um, can I speak to Ron? It's like, there's, there's no Ron here because they didn't have to change the number, mm. right? So one day, one day after like, 15 phone calls. I'm like, yo, who, Ron who? And she was like, Jeremy, duh. I was like, wow. The OG. I said, <laughs> he got his old apartment. I said, he's not here right now. But <laughs> what time will you possibly be coming through? And she was like, just tell him to meet us by the hot tub on the north side at seven tonight. I was like, Bet. <laughs> <laughs> now I've only been in California wild. for two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, right? In Ron Jeremy's old crib. In Ron mother, Jeremy's old his crib. Joints is I cold. didn't think about how nasty that crib might have been. Time, right? <laughs> All I could think was, who was this on the other line that wants to meet at the jacuzzi tonight at seven? So I tell my roommates, I'm like, yo, yo, we gotta go to the jacuzzi tonight. Why? What happened? I was like, who do you think Ron is? Who do you think Ron, Ron Jeremy? Like, what? Ron, Ron Jeremy? I'm like, yes, Ron Jeremy. So tonight, we got to go to the jacuzzi at 7. It was like, bet. 
that was the same day that I had just got a deal on a TV show, right? It was a pilot that Stan Lathan and Russell Simmons was producing, right? And I had just signed a contract for the pilot. It was gonna pay me, like, ugh. I was like, ooh, about to get this money. I wanted to go out and celebrate. And that's when I ran into the, the, the person who ended up being my wife. Oh, damn. Yeah, I ran into her. She was calling your crib for Ron Jeremy? No, no, no. You oh. stupid. <laughs> you stupid. No. 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 You married him. No, no, no. no. What's going on? No. 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 I thought you was from Harlem, man. Don't get killed. Don't get killed in here, please, yo. Come on. Here. Come on. He yo. said, don't get yeah, killed yeah, in here. Don't Hop. get killed, Hop. Nah. When I was leaving to go, when I was leaving to go out to celebrate, right. she was at the elevator. She was at the, okay. she was at the elevator. <laughs> and, you know, I had seen her before because I had honestly, you know, I went there. I had seen um my stepson's father? Grandfather. Grandfather. Mm-hmm. My stepson's grandfather. And you know, where we come from, we bar everything. I was like, I seen him, I had just got there, ain't had nothing. I was like, yo, I need some sugar for some tea. I'm trying to make some tea. I just finished working out. He was like, all right, come on with me, young man. And then took me to their apartment and was like, this this young man want to borrow some, what you want? Some sugar. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah. You know, I felt, I felt you know, like we borrow everything where I come from. You know, you know, <laughs> you ask your neighbor for what? You be like, my mom say, can she get some soap powder? Mm. My mom say, can she borrow the vacuum? Get y'all got a, y'all got a slice yes. of bread? Yep. <laughs> That's a fact. Right. fact. So I didn't have no shame in that shit at all. But I had seen her, and then I was like, I see you. I was in a great mood, invited her out on a date. I was like, yo, we about to go catch a flick, and you know. So now we having a good time. We all having a good time. I think it was that Steven Seagal flick, that first one. Hard to what, kill? Hard to kill. Hard to kill, yeah. Yeah, we yeah the first joint we in there you know, and um, uh, my roommate real real slick little white boy looked like Rob Lowe, he was like <laughs> you remember Rob was the shit back in the day right, you know what I'm saying? you look like Rob he's pretty motherfucker right and he was like looking at her and you know so now he trying to, I'm like nigga what are you doing yo. Like yo, she, I invited her. You know, you, you know what you, yeah, you, you don't know. This ain't for everybody. Right. Say, yo, right, right. Move your hands, son. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so, she tells me about this later. Like she's like, oh, I thought y'all was bugging. I kept saying, what the fuck am I doing here? Because she was like in the middle of it, right? Right. So we have a great time. We get back to the apartment. I'm ready to keep things going, and they like. <laughs> hot tub they tub. like yo hot tub hot right, tub right. You know, I'm like oh yeah so my stupid ass I'm like yo you wanna go to the hot tub let's go to the hot tub everybody go to everybody my other roommate she <laughs> she girl too everybody coming let's go to the hot tub right. Ooh, hot, hot tub fun in the hot tub <laughs> <laughs> too hot hot tub <laughs> find discouragement it all depends on you perception is everything some people just hear another song some people hear the greatest a nigga used to have no chill nowadays i bump side a traffic on bumper to bumper stuck on the highway 